Boom, 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 boom. Welcome back. Welcome back to Maurice's Polo Review Channel. Today we will be talking about what's on my American. Also, uh, a few more other topics that I want to uh, get into. I know it's been a minute, but guess what? I'm still here. I'm blessed, and um, I hope everybody else is blessed too. Um, remember, even though the world is opening back up, still protect yourself. People, you know, out here living without any type of remorse when it comes down to cleanliness. So make sure, you know, you still washing your hands and, you know, covering up in certain areas when there's a lot of people and all that good stuff. And watch over your kids, especially, you know, well, it's going to be the end of the school year. So still, you, you know, we still got to talk to our kids about, you know, cleanliness and uh, staying safe. You know, it's about to be summertime, so it's going to be a lot of... Um, activities. I don't know if a lot of people still send their kids off to camps or whatever the case may be, but you know, it is what it is. So let's get into what's on my mannequin and we'll talk about a power cop. How about that? <laughs> so today I want to start off with a driver's cap. This is something that been, has been in my uh, wardrobe for a minute. It has the yellow polo man on the side of it. I just like the um, pattern of it. It gives you that plaid, that plaid pattern as far as your driver's cap. It's very soft. It's not hard, you know, so I wanted to pair it with what I have there right here. I have a light, a real light polo um, windbreaker jacket. Not necessarily windbreaker, but it's, it's real. It's real thin. So this is more of a spring, you know, spring night, you know, if you're your partner, whatever, um, chick is out on the town, um, just something, if it get cool or whatever, it's somebody you want to put on. Also, it's green, so it's giving you that, that pop, that vibe, you know, it's spring, summertime, so, you know, it's just something that's going to brighten up, you know, your day. Also, up under it, I have a uh, brand new rugby shirt that I picked up off, uh, I believe it was Poshmark. It was either Poshmark or eBay. I couldn't believe it still was new with tags, so whoever had it obviously didn't wear it, and they had it in their closet, and they wanted to get rid of it. It has a number four patch on the on the, um, on the left side, which is dope. The number four also um, on the side of it, it has the rugby patch. So that's something different with a um, tree. You got RL in it and rugby on the side of it, so I... I sort of figured that was, you know, that was a nice, unique piece, you know, when it come down to this particular uh, shirt or what have you. So I wanted to pair it up with what I had, you know, in my closet also with the um, plaid driver's cap, you know, something a little soft. It got the hint of the colors, the same color as the shirt inside of the pattern on the um, driver's cap. So it was just something different, you know, something unique. Something a little different, you know, put on some chinos or, you know, some khaki shirts with it and maybe some boat shoes. I don't typically I don't do uh, what spurries. They wore those out. So I do some loafers or something and just kick it low key, low key clean. You know how I keep it. Um, Yeah. So that is what's on my mannequin. So drum roll, please. We got a power cop. Um, This particular piece I've been looking for for a minute. Uh, it's not on my grill list. I will say that it's not, it wasn't on my grill list, but I, uh, went to IG and I went to this guy's page and this guy, he and I have did, did business over the past, you know, so I just wanted to check the temperature on it. Remember, 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 whenever you start off like buying from resellers, you know, you want to start small. Don't go in there with 500 off top, boom, unless it's a piece that you that uh, you got on your grill list or on top of your list. And also, you know, it's okay to ask other people that you know in you know in your circle, have they bought from this person or this, that, and the third, because you always want to check a person's temperature, either, excuse me, small purchases or people in your circle who you know have the same avenue or same lane as you as far as purchasing items. You don't want to go in there head over heels and just end up sending somebody between four fifty and a thousand dollars off back because you don't know if the person do good business or what. So that's just a gem I'm dropping on y'all. You know, always check the temperature on these resellers because you'll never know 
what you're going to get, especially that you not knowing them and them not knowing you. So be aware of that. So this particular piece is a vintage piece that I had, um, have been eyeing for a minute, but I never seen it in a 2XL. And I did get it in an XL, but the pit to pit is a 26 inch pit to pit. So I'm going to keep it, you know, so yeah. It's a little tight, but you know, it is what it is. I mean, but it's my piece. So we'll get into it. So this is a hint. I went over this hat before, but this is a, a rugby ranger hat. Very dope piece. Has shoe strings up top. You know, very dope. This piece is super dope. Flaps on the side, wintertime special. I got it from my boy, a.k.a. Heat Low. He know who I'm talking about. I ain't gonna call his name out like that, but yeah. Soft build, you know, so we rocking out like that. So, uh, yeah, this is a dope piece, but this is just a teaser to what I have. So, with that particular piece comes... And I got went to the cleaners and I got put it in the cleaners and I got it out before I made a video. So let's go. Boom. The Ranger Rugby Piece Red Line Edition. Um, the guy on the bottom of it, shoe strings on the bottom. So yeah, this particular piece is very dope. I'm not even gonna front, I'm not even gonna lie. When I first purchased this piece. I was wondering how much damage did it have on it. And when I got it, I can literally say this piece is immaculate. The guy who had it took very care, good care of this particular piece. Um, also has the number six in the back. AC. So, I mean, this piece is dope. I mean, this is one of those Ralph Warren pieces that I feel that was overlooked a long time ago and also it has the flaps it has two pockets up here um with the patches on the sleeves so that is a very dope piece this is a very dope piece you know i would wear it with the ranger hat just because it goes with it which is hard you know a lot of people don't understand there's a patch on the side same patch as the hat yeah so yeah we rocking out like that you know, a shoe strings up top with the leather with the leather um holders. Like it's a very this is a very dope piece. And a lot of people, I believe, whoever have this piece in their wardrobe, they're not gonna let it go. This particular guy had to uh wheel and deal a little bit in order to um get him to come off of it. He been having it for a while. He's been sitting on it for a while. He posted it. I wanna say, hmm. I won't say he's been sitting on it for about maybe two and a half, three years, but I had to go back in his post just to see if it had sold because nine times out of six, ten, whenever he sells something, he'll put sold on it and then he'll just, you know, just go gradually post new things and a lot of people overlook a lot of things he have on his page as sold, so they won't ask. It's okay to ask questions, people. I'm telling you, just because you're spending your money, ask questions, you know, that's just point blank period. You don't want, you just don't want to go into something, ask about the condition, ask about the stains or anything of that nature. eBay, people ain't going to be honest. We already know that. So through my, through my um little situations, but yeah, I mean, that's what I'm doing. I don't want everybody to think like I'm holding a lot of pieces. I Do I have a lot of pieces? I will. I do. I'm not even going to front. I have a lot of pieces. Also, I done sold a lot of pieces, a lot of uh, jackets that were in the episodes way before. Majority of them are gone. I'm not, I'm not even going to front, you know, um, let me see. I can name off the red um, Navy rescue jacket that's gone. Um, the, the leather bomber with the... Um, the Sherlin's joint with the on the collar with new tags that's gone. Um, the reason being is because I upgraded a lot of my pieces, and a lot of pieces like I had that the one piece, the leather bomber with the uh, Sherlin on the sleeves. I had that piece in my wardrobe for the last past six, seven years and never wore it. 
you know, understand something too. We live in Georgia, but that was a dope piece. I'm not even gonna, I'm not, I'm not even gonna make up anything. That is a super dope piece. But I have leather coats, you know, and I got a whole. I, I wanted to go varsities and rugby's and uh, double RLs and polo country. So those are my three main um, categories right now. So it is what it is with that. I'm just a vintage guy now, so. It, it'll be okay. You know what I'm saying? It'll be okay. Because I know the people who got pieces, you know, if I can help anybody, I, I try to help everybody out. Certain things I'm not going to, I'm not even going to front. I can't get my hands on them, you know, especially when it comes to super rare pieces. I mean, is there is one particular piece that I'm still searching for that I haven't got my hands on and somebody got it for like, I want to say like 600 bucks. He hit. No comment. Hey, no cap. He hit. But, hey, I don't know a lot of sites outside the sites I be on. And people, when people ask me about the way I search, I'm going to explain something to you. Whenever you get on eBay, if you like rugby, for instance, you go rugby by Ralph Lauren. Don't put um, polo rugby's because a whole bunch of blue labels are going to pop up. Put rugby by Ralph Lauren in the search bar and take off um, that and just certain different categories that Ralph have that you want to go ahead and put in the, um, the search bar like um, the Mountain Explorer Expedition line you want to go ahead and put the whole thing in there and see what pops up you know um, I had a had a guy he hit me yesterday I believe was talking about um, dinner and supply I don't understand the whole scenario with Denim and Supply because it seems like Denim and Supply run neck and neck with uh, Polo Blue Label. So whenever you look for Denim and Supply, you really got to go through the pictures. I'm noticing that because there'd be some fire pieces on eBay that you would not know that was Denim and Supply until you start you know, going through the pictures and you see Denim and Supply. So I don't understand why Denim and Supply don't have their own category as far as uh, is on eBay. That's just something crazy. <laughs> so, um, also, let me see. I did cop another grill piece of mine. Um, we'll talk about it on probably on the next episode. Yeah. Um, one, well, let's see. That one, that one grill piece, which is my Indian head, probably, you know, probably not going to get it only because it don't come into Excel. And if anybody... I know somebody who just purchased a XL, so I'm had to hit them up to see what's the pit to pit on it, you know, see if I can try to shake something, but I doubt it. But uh, yeah, I'm still looking for grills, so understand it, for certain people, not for myself. Uh, the only grill I'm looking for is the Japan Pullover in 2XL. That's the unicorn right now. But uh, my side of that, I pretty much done knocked down my grill list. So if anybody know anything about my grill list, go back about six episodes, I believe, and I think I named my grill list off. My top five grill pieces, I got huh, I got two out of five, I believe. I, I showed the one and the other one I haven't showed just yet. So Go back and if anybody know anything about your boy, you know what it is. So, um, yeah. So let's talk about it. Um, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. We up right now, I believe, like 561, 562. You know, I'd like to get over a thousand before the end of the year. So I'm gonna start, you know, doing my thing. So I appreciate each and every one of you for coming to Mars and Polo Review Channel. Like I said, tell a friend, tell a friend, you know, like, share, subscribe. You know, it's all about positivity and work ethic, you know, um, just everyday life. You know what I mean? I got to start myself, start setting little goals that I have for myself in my personal life that I need to achieve, which everybody else, because it's okay to do self-evaluation. That it is, it, trust me, do self-evaluation because guess what? We're so used to the norm. We're so used to us being us. It's okay to make a change as long as it's positive change and not negative. 
You don't never want to go back and revert to the person you was five, ten years ago. You always want to move forward in life and be positive and have a positive outlook upon each and every situation that you come about. So, with that being said, thank you. Have a blessed week. It's Memorial Day weekend. Stay out of trouble. Um, if you're drinking, call a friend to come pick you up, whatever the case may be. Also, wear your seat belts. Be safe, people, because guess what? Nobody's worried about you the way you should be worried about you. Thank you and have a blessed day. Salute.